Good morning everybody, my name is Jacob, back at you with another video and today we are here to talk about something that annoys all of us or some things that annoy all of us, right? So we all have our pet peeves and we all have things that really just piss us off, yeah? Like, you know, when people do those little things that just really like get under our skin and drive that toothpick under the fingernail and just make blood boil, you know, those like that kind of vibe and it just makes you go, oh, stop talking. Grrrr. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Today we're gonna delve into some of those things that piss me off, some of my pet peeves. And then I've also reached out to you guys for you to tell me some of your pet peeves. So uh, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We'll make this a real inclusive experience for all of us, this video. Into the video, let's go. <laughs> okay, so my favorite meal in the world is an Eggs Benedict, right? Like if I go out for breakfast, I don't even look at the menu. Like it's Eggs Benedict. You know something that really grinds my gears is when places like get a bit too like bougie for their boots like you know they try and add those little extra bits to the eggs benedict that just is really not necessary there was one time i was in sydney right and i had eggs benedict at this bougie little cafe in the city and there was like this red green purple all this like really random stuff was in the eggs benedict and it just it wasn't an eggs benedict no, stop just just like stop it just don't just don't do that just it's not no if you don't like eggs benedict then you are hashtag cancelled sticking on the food subject when you get subway when they're toasting it the worker asks you what salad you want and then you stand there and you look at them and you go to like say but then you don't want to tell them because you know in about 30 seconds when your bread is like done toasting you're gonna to have to tell them again anyways and it's like just ask me how my day is or something don't ask me what salads I want for then for me to have to repeat myself or then it's like a little test for you to see how good your memory is but then you actually put onion on it when I didn't ask for onion and then you're there picking out all the onion off because you didn't just ask me how my day was and instead you had to like prove to me how good your memory was and then you just ruined everyone's experience like, no. I deeply care for this topic. Just don't ask me what salads I want while my bread is in the toaster. Just another really great pet peeve of mine is my sister. Lovely George. <laughs> ASMR can honestly just get out. Like, there is nothing more uncomfortable, in my opinion, than people just whispering into microphones or just like, I thought I would do the rest of this segment in uh, ASMR style. So... I just thought um, you guys would really appreciate um, hearing a bit of this ASMR. ASMR is not good. When you're at a restaurant and you're sitting near a couple and you just look at them and they're sitting next to each other like this. No, there is no way in the world that that is comfortable for either of you. Sit opposite each other at the table. You're both gonna go home with scoliosis, okay? Just, just don't do it. Not that I have any experience in this whatsoever, it just annoys me when I see it. Trying to spell the word restaurant. Tourists. When anybody, but especially my sister, comes into my bedroom like of a night, turns the light on and op obviously opens the door to ask me something, but then leaves without turning the light on or closing the door. If the door is shut and the light is off when you enter, the light needs to be off and the door needs to be shut when you exit. It's simple math. Yeah. Two years ago, it became legal for motorbikes to lane filter in Tasmania, which means that when you're sitting at traffic lights, us whole motorbike cyclist peoples can like drive down between your cars. So when you're already in peak hour traffic and everyone's like crammed in like bloody sardines because Hobart roads are atrocious, there's just this little pretentious motorbike driver who just decides to like worm his way through the traffic whenever it happens and I see one coming out of my mirror, I always get so tempted to just whip my door open and then I don't because I'm actually like, you know, a nice person. Elevators with seductive voices. I don't know at what part of like the planning process for like construction of an elevator, like who does the electronics and like the button presses, but like I know a few around Hobart, there's one in particular that's like level one. No, ground floor. No, ew, ugh. The word Moist. The word 
jug when it, you actually start thinking about it. Just say the word jug and then just think about the word jug and then just say the word jug a few times like jug, 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 jug. Jug. When people answer the phone in really confined spaces, but then speak like they're, you know, like in the car or at home on the phone. In elevators is a really big one. On buses, that's like a whole thing in itself. I actually have a video from like 2017, I think, on my channel where I like delve into that in more detail, but I've had a few experiences on buses when I used to like not a vibe. Just text me, it, it's fine. When someone younger than me or someone very slightly older than me calls me bud or, or buddy or, or or kid, kiddo, you know, all those really, like it's so demeaning. Don't demean people with like those really demeaning nicknames that you would call a four year old. When somebody has the audacity to put their seat back on a plane when it's like a one hour domestic flight, like who raised you? Who taught you that that was okay to do that to someone? You're all packed in such a confined space. Like everyone is literally here to hear with each other. For you to just do this, this? No, don't. Just don't do that. It's it's not okay. Anyone who revs their vehicle in traffic unnecessarily. When my sister takes my charges and then doesn't put them back. One uppers. Now this is a term I like to use for people that no matter what you say to them, whether it's relevant to them or not, or whether it even needs a response, they will always one-up you in a positive or a negative way. Like if you're telling a sad story, they will one-up you on the sadness of their, their experience with the exact same thing. Or whether you just won something, but they'll always one-up their victory. This is the worst trait somebody can have in my opinion. Oh, hey man, how you doing? Oh, uh, yeah, good. Uh, how about you? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Actually, I've been uh, great. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so what have you been up to? Oh, uh, not much. Uh, I've just been working, actually. It's been a bit of a hard time because I got fired from my job, but um, yeah, I just actually started working at New Coles down the road, but I'm still... Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, I got fired from my job, too. And then, you know, like a week later, I was working at the, um, the, the Woolworths down the road. Yeah, but aren't you working at that new Adventure World place? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started at Woolies before I got the job at the big AW. Right. So, what else has been going on? Oh, well, um, actually, my grandpa died the other day, so it's been a bit of a hard time. Oh, no way. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, no, my grandpa died last week, too, so it's been Wait, real hard. Really? Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, yeah, it's been, uh... Who's that calling? Oh, just my gra gram grandma. <laughs> Fucking one-uppers. Okay, so those are some of my pet peeves. I have a lot more, but I think for this video, we'll leave it there. Um, so, so last week, as I said at the start of this video, I reached out to you guys on my Instagram story and I was like, tell me some of your pet peeves. And I actually got a whack ton of responses. Like, it was really cool. So if you guys want me to reach out and do more like open-ended question videos like this, uh, tell me down in the comment section and I will definitely do that. But yeah, so these are some of your pet peeves uh, that I like. People who chew with their mouth open, people with zero comments, Common sense. People who use their phones while driving. Being left on red during a serious conversation. Uh. Nail biters. People who don't indicate while driving. That is just a, that's a real gear grinder. Well, um, My alarm clock. 8am lectures. 9am exams. Getting stuck behind the slowest walkers in public. When the toilet paper roll is put on backwards, really that big of a deal? When people take 10 years to write a one word reply. People who complain about something to one person and then go and brag about the same thing to another person, like double standards, what just? This was probably my favorite one. Someone literally said, you shit posting on Instagram and YouTube. That annoys, that annoys me too, man. I get real annoyed by that, mm, yeah. When people say tar instead of thank you, when you do something legitimate for them, like not when you just like pass them a pen that they dropped off the ground, but when you do something legitimate that deserves thanks and they just like tar and keep walking. Like no, thank you. Thank you for doing that thing that would have taken me 20 minutes to do, but because you helped me, it took me no time at all. Like thank you, not just 
Tough. That's all for the Instagram responses. They were my favorite ones. I'm um, sorry if yours didn't make it into this video. Here's another thing that I've been trying to do. If someone has one of these traits that you really don't like, just tell them. Because nine times out of ten, they actually don't know that they're doing that thing. That's about all I have for today. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want more of these, uh like little sketchy cut together videos or if you like the chew ones. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content recently. I've been really grinding on it so I hope that you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have been enjoying making it. Please share it with a friend. That's all I have for today so if you did enjoy leave a like rating, uh, comment down below something to do with your dog and yeah that's all. Hope you guys did enjoy. Goodbye. That's all. Stop talking. Love you. Mwah. <laughs> How cool does my new setup look? It looks epic. I love it. Okay, bye. <laughs>